Okay, last part. Now again, the important part of this is, well, how do I, how do I chart a path through here, right? How do I use the information I've got to get to something? What is the something I'm after? It's the radius. So I better put the radius on here, okay? Look at where my circle is. I think it's something like this. So, sorry. Is yep. it alright if your exact value has like a causal sign inversion? Do you mean for this last part? Yeah. You would get some marks, but I don't think you'd get all of them. Right. Because you don't need to. You don't need to. You can get it as an exact number without any tree functions okay. in it. Okay. Um, I wouldn't, I would, I would doubt you'd get zero if everything you've done is valid, but you can go further. You can go much simpler, so therefore I'm expecting you'd need to. Now, so far I've avoided using any extra pronoun rules or anything like that. Like I haven't even called that thing alpha or theta or whatever, but I am going to call this one R because it will get a bit messy in a second. Okay. So I just found out that this was root 21. Okay. Well, I just, I just showed that it was, and this is what I'm after now. So the important part of the question is, how am I going to get from the information I know to the information I don't know? And keep in mind, I've just been using the cosine rule a heck of a lot, right? I can do it again, right? I can totally do it again. Look, in this triangle, what I'm after really is sides, okay? In fact, I want to get all three sides because once I know this one, I know all of them, okay? If I need sides, then what's the opposite part of the cosine rule? It's not sides, it's, it's angles, okay? So when you look at this, you've got three angles to choose from, okay? Uh, let's count them out. You've got uh, this one, right? You've got this one, which is the same, and then you've got this one in the middle, okay? Now, I can use any of those three, two, which seems like a more obvious, easier to access choice. Is it the base angles or is it the other angle? Now, I would suggest it looks to me, and I hope you can see it on your diagram, this angle over here is going to be easier to access. Okay? Keep in mind, I found out what this angle was, right? I, I did it earlier. That means I know what this angle is. But this angle is related to the angle I'm trying to find, right? What's the relationship oh, between these two guys? Very good, very good. They're standing on the same arc. See that? C E D. C E D. There's the arc there. This guy's at the center, and this guy's at the circumference. Wait, why wouldn't you use C D E? Because you know that C D equals root 21. D. Sorry, I am using C D. I'm gonna need the I am gonna need the lengths. Oh no, why don't you use angle C D E? This guy here. You talking about that one? Okay, sorry, no, don't worry. I, I don't know what it is. I use a different R. Okay. okay, that's fine. Yeah. Different R? How many R's are there? Like, I use C Oh, you mean like, did you put R like over here? Yeah. Ah, okay, which, which is fine. Oh, yeah. okay. Same radius, okay. Um, you can do that. The reason why I went in this direction, you might, I actually didn't even, didn't even see that, um, is because I've just found CD. So it seemed natural to just do a progression from there, like, oh, I just found this, okay? okay? Because I guess if you do, if you construct that, then you're ignoring this root 21. Oh, you're not because you get CDE as in the other triangle. Oh, and you use root 21 to find the, this angle. Yeah. Okay, sure, that works fine. Okay. Uh, well, why don't you judge for me? I'll show you therefore. Now I've got a path. Now I've got a path, right? This angle is this angle. Double it will give me this angle, okay? So here we go, I'm ready to go. Um, that angle in the middle, the one I'm interested in, I'm gonna call this the center, okay? I'm gonna fit. I'll try. Okay. Um, it's DOC. Okay. DOC. Its relationship to that angle over there is its double. Um, CBD is what it's called because that's the one inside the circle. What's my region again? Angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference. Okay. So you can, you can go ahead. You can write that one down. I think we know it quite well. So you've got that. But, but CBD is actually ABC, so it's a different name for the same angle. And I proved earlier on, uh, where did I write it? Did I write it? I think you wrote it out. No, you didn't. I, no, I just never actually wrote it down because I said, you know, we can get on with this. From here, good morning. From here, from these similar triangles, right, I can identify these guys here, they're equal to each other, right? So I'm just going to say it, that's 2 times AED, and I actually proved that earlier. <laughs> from the outside, lift the handle. From the outside, from the outside it's, it's broken. So, yeah. And now, focus. there we go. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, now, 2 AED DOC. Now, keep in mind, you, keep, you see how I keep doing this? You're looking at what you've got and you're looking at where you're going. 
I'm going to use the cosine rule on this guy, right? So I might as well find cos of this right now, okay? Cos of the left-hand side is cos of the right-hand side. Oops, sorry. Helps you have the brackets facing the right direction, okay? Now this is great, this is great, because I know what cos AED is. So what's the relationship between these two guys? What identity oh, can I use? It's double angle, right? Now I can choose cos squared minus sine squared, or 1 minus 2 sine squared, or 2 cos squared minus 1. Which of those is the best choice? Yeah, the one with cosines in it, right? So I'm going to write 2 cos squared AED, take away 1. Yeah. So would you say that that is the one that you actually use? Yeah, I would. I would strongly encourage the use of this one as opposed to others. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know what these numbers are. Uh, let's see. Two times what? Um, four. Four and nine. Take away one. That's eight ninths. You take away one. That's negative a ninth. You happy with that? Now, again. If you see a solution, right, and it's like, oh, here are all the answers, and this is the first line, and then for some inexplicable reason they're doing cos, right, you're like, why, why are they doing that? But you were with me when we started this. Why am I doing this again? Because I'm going to use the cosine rule here. So now I know where I'm going, now I'm ready to actually do it here, okay? Now, interestingly, I'm going to use something just like this, just in a different triangle. I'm still, my triangle still has CD in it, right? And I know what this is. So I'm going to say new triangle in B, C, D. And I'm going to use the cosine rule one last time. Uh, C, D squared, <coughs> right? It's one of the sides. Is equal to, all right, well, what are we going to have over here on the right? B, C, D, oh, five squared. Oh, sorry, wrong one. This is not B, C, D, it's B, C, O, D, C, O, D. Yeah, that's, that's better. Okay, still got CD. Um, I'm using this triangle because it's got the radii in it, right? So it's R squared plus R squared minus 2 R squared because of this angle, the included angle, right? Yep. And from here, it's just a bit of legwork to make R the subject. That's, that's all it is. Um, I know what this is, it's 21. Uh, what have I got here? 2 r squared take away uh, plus 2 r squared on 9. Double negative. Yeah. Uh, that's 18 r squared on 9. So when I put them together, I'm going to get 20 r squared on 9. You with me so far? That's 21. And then I'm just going to make, sorry, make r squared the subject. I could work out what 9 times 21 is, I could, but I'm going to have to take the square root of this in a second anyway, right? So I'm just going to leave that as 9 on 20 times 21, so that when I just say R, like that's a square number, that's a square number. So that's 3, I know 21 is not going to, I'm going to get nothing out of that, that's 3 times 7. Uh, 20, 20, I can take 4 out of that, so that's 2 root 5. And I suppose I could, I could neaten that up a tiny bit by multiplying by root 5. I've got it a different way. Okay, yes. but I, I think either of those is fine. This question is not about rationalizing. This question is about geometry. So if you got to that second last line, I'd be pretty happy.